Hello everyone, welcome to Charisma. We are making a clay project today which can be used as a bird feeder and also as a decorative fairy house. So let's dive into the tutorial. Grab an empty plastic jar, a marker and a knife. Mark a hole at the bottom through which the grains or the food for the bird you wish to keep could come out and cut it out using your knife. If you are wishing to make just a working bird feeder, you can stop right here, fill the jar with the food and keep it on the ground. Mind it, this kind of feeder will only work for the birds who find their food from the ground. For example, sparrows, robin birds, pigeons, crows and more such kind of birds. The grain will, will come out from the hole we just made. Now, if you want to decorate it a bit, Let's proceed. Grab some newspaper, crumble it to make a ball. We are trying to make the roof of the fairy house. Take an aluminium foil and wrap it around the newspaper ball and shape it like a cone. Using a hot glue gun, attach it to the lid. Add some more aluminium foil sheets to define the roof. I'm trying to make it look like a mushroom. So I am adding more width at the weight using the newspaper and on top I will wrap it using the aluminium sheet. Now let's get started with the clay. Spread the clay all over the roof and let it dry completely. Use only paper clay in this kind of project as they don't crack after drying.
Keep it aside for one day and let it dry completely. Now let's do the house. Spread the clay all over the jar and keep smoothing it using water. With the help of a blunt knife, carve the door. Now I'm putting some details around, like some vines going around the house, a tree, branch and some flowers. I'm planning to make a little balcony too for the fairies so that they can get some fresh air. Adding a little mushroom which I guess every fairy loves. Some more vines. Here I'm adding some details to the tree. Define the design as you like it to be. You can add anything you wish because you know fairies love everything made out of love. So just let your creative juices flow and start carving. Now I'm adding details to the door as if it is made up of wood. I'm trying to carve out a big window here.
I'm adding some more vines here. And some flowers. So the house is done, let's come back to the roof. Before adding any details, wet the surface a bit so that the clay would stay nicely. I'm again adding a thick vine around the mushroom roof. Take some clay and with the use of a fork, poke it all around. That will make it look like bushes or moss. Adding one more flower on the top. Now let them dry completely and then we'll head on for painting. Grab your paint and brushes and start painting in your favorite colors. You can use acrylic color, watercolor or even pencil colors.
also all done with coloring. Later I added some white dots in the mushrooms so as to make it look enchanted. After the colors have dried completely, spray some varnish all over to seal it. And varnish gives a beautiful glow too. And ta-da! Your beautiful enchanted fairy house is ready! To use as bird feeder, just add in the grains and close the lid and watch for your little birds to treat on it. Or add a tea light or a fairy light and let your fairies enjoy their house. I hope you liked today's video and if you did, hit the like button and to watch more from me, hit the red subscribe button. Take care, see you soon.